Hey, praise the Lord, it's Brother Clinton once again, and you're watching the Word Prophet Channel, a Christian ministry dedicated to the purpose of teaching the Word of God to the people and the churches of God, so that we can go back to serving God in spirit and in truth, as the Lord Jesus Christ commanded. You know, it is written in the scripture in Proverbs 22, 6, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go. But today, unfortunately, most people, the vast majority of people in this world, and especially in Western society, aren't training up their children at all. And even Christians, even people that profess to be Christians and go to church, um, they're not training up their children. They've turned over their children to the government, and they've turned over their children to the government training camps, which we call public schools today. And they've turned over their children to the devil by means of sitting them front in front of the television uh, or giving them you know, a laptop so that they can sit in their room all alone, unsupervised, a child with a laptop and an internet and, and an internet connection. That is completely irresponsible. If you have a child and you have set that child alone in a room without any adult supervision with a laptop and an internet connection, you are irresponsible. There is absolutely no excuse for such neglect. But that's not what I started this video to talk to you about, although it's related. What I, what I turned on the camera here to talk to you about uh, a minute or two ago is the fact that most people, the vast majority of people, especially in Western society today, have given their children something that is ruining their children's lives, and they don't know, nor do they care. What am I talking about? A smartphone. I have one. I use it to communicate. Okay. I use it to connect to the internet when I need to. But I'm a man. I'm not a child. And not only am I a, am I a man, but by the grace of God, I'm a man of God. And so I know the difference between what is right and what is wrong. But a child doesn't. That's why a child is called a child. And that's why he's under your care and you are his parent if you have children, okay? If your 10-year-old came to you and said, Dad, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go out to the worst neighborhood in the city and I'm gonna hang out in an alley by a garbage dumpster till about midnight or so. Would you say, all right, Johnny, that's fine. Have fun. You know, if you, if you miss dinner, I'll leave some for you in the fridge. No problem. Really? Well, that is where your child is going when he leaves your house with a smartphone. When a child leaves your house with a smartphone in his hand, he has access, unlimited access, unlimited access to the most vile, disgusting, dangerous filth that Satan has to offer. And you put it in his hand and sent him out of your house. And now he can go out alone or with his friends and sit there and watch on his phone and listen to the most vile, disgusting filth on the face of the planet because you are not parenting your child. You have given him a window into the depths of hell and then sent him on his way to go on a walk all by himself or all by herself. And then when your daughter comes home at 12 years old, pregnant, you're surprised. You're angry. When your daughter comes home at 14 years old with half of her head shaved and a safety pin stuck through her face and a tattoo of a, a, an orangutan on her back or whatever, you're like, where did you learn how to do that? Well, you're the one who gave her the smartphone. You're the one who gave her a connection to the internet and then sent her off by herself without you to supervise what she was watching. Why, are you, why have you given your child a smartphone? What were you thinking? No, I can't even ask you what were you thinking because you know what? You weren't thinking. Well, Brother Clinton, I need my child to have a phone so that I can communicate with him or her. Fine, go to the store and buy a phone that is a phone that is, it has numbers, a keypad on it, and you can use it to call and send text messages to your child and from your child without an internet connection. If you have given your child a smartphone with an internet connection, there's no other word that describes that except neglect. Oh yes, there is another one, irresponsible. You are that child's parent. It is your job to train up that child in the way that he should go or in the way that she should go. And if you have put a smartphone in the hands of your child 
and sent that child off alone or in a place where you are not watching what he or she is looking at on that phone, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. And if you're in that position and you have the sense to be ashamed of yourself right now, then go to your child and take that phone away and go to a store and buy a regular phone so that you can communicate with your child and take the internet out of the hands of your child. This is for the sake of your child's life, for the sake of his or her soul. If you care for your child's life, if you care for your child's soul, then you're going to do this right now. You know, I'm not your father and I can't make you do anything. But I'm a man of God and I tell you this in the name of Jesus Christ. That if you have a child and that child has a smartphone in his hand or in her hand, you have endangered the life and the soul of your child. You have put in the hands and in front of the eyes of your child a window into the depths of hell. And he's going to be or she is going to be looking into that window in the depths of hell without anybody there to supervise and to tell him or her the difference between right and wrong. And what's going to happen? He or she is going to get sucked right into that window. And the devil is going to steal your, your child's soul if he hasn't already. So if you're a thinking parent, and especially if you consider yourself to be a Christian parent, and if your child, either a boy or a girl, has a smartphone, the first thing that you're going to do when you shut off this video is go find your child and take that phone away and explain to your child that you love him or her and that you're doing this because of your love. And that tomorrow you're going to take that child to a store and buy him or her a regular phone so that he, he or she can keep in contact with you. See, your child is not your partner. Your child is not your buddy. Your child is not your best friend. Your child is your child. And if they don't like the fact that you need to tell them and make them do certain things for their own good, then that's their problem. Okay? That's their problem. You know, when you punish your child, and you tell him he can't do something when he wants to do something. He says, I hate you. I hate you. Well, you know, welcome to parenthood. That happens sometimes. Children are children. And they say things like that because they're children, because they want things that they can't have. That's irrelevant. You don't give them everything that they want. Because if you do that, they will destroy themselves. You're the parent. You have to be the one that has wisdom. You have to be the one that walks in love. You have to be the one that executes discipline when it is necessary. And executing discipline upon a child does not depend upon his or her consent for you to discipline him or her. It depends on the need that you have to do whatever you need to do to make sure your child is trained up in the way that he should go. I give you this message in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.